Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Old Wiz Rising Farm. Today, I will be making cheese. Much anticipated video, I know. So, we're going to start off with a half gallon of non-homogenized milk. Must be non-homogenized, otherwise it won't work. We are going to start with a couple tablespoons of vinegar. We're going to add la more later. And two teaspoons of salt. Any salt will work. So we're gonna add like half of this gallon of milk. You can make more, but I just didn't have a top big enough to do two more. You will see milk fat for the non-homogenized stuff, but that's okay. That's expected. So we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of vinegar, and this curdles the milk and helps it form curds. And add some salt. Two teaspoons of salt. This, that just adds a nice salty flavor to the cheese. And this is a farmer's cheese, so it doesn't need rennet. Just FYI. There's more complicated recipes out there. I got this from Pinterest. I'm not taking ownership of this, but this is what worked for me. And you want to set it on like a medium heat um, and stir it occasionally just to make sure that it doesn't scald to the bottom of the pan. And this is going to boil for, this is going to be on the, on the stove for about 15, 20 minutes, probably. Do you want a simmer or a rolling boil? Simmer. Okay. How do you recognize when it's starting to get ready? It's when the whey and the liquid in the milk is almost transparent. It's got kind of milky colored, but there's also this going to be this giant glob of cheese. And once it hits glob stage, that's when you um, put it through the colander and get the whey out. We'll show that to you later. So, update on the cheese making. It's been about 10 minutes. I added another uh, tablespoon of vinegar. Um, at this stage, this is forming curds, really nice curds. Um, but you do have to be very careful not to stir too much about 10 minutes in because you don't want to break up the curds. You want a big, massive, glop of cheese. Totally appetizing, right? Um, but you do want to have a big, massive curd of cheese. Otherwise, it won't go through, the, it'll go right through the strainer. Um, so, yeah, just be careful not to stir too much about 10 minutes in once you see that big curds are starting to form. How did you know to add more vinegar? Because it wasn't curdling. The milk wasn't curdling enough. And if you observe that, then you... Add more. Add more. Okay. Be very careful not to add too much. I would go like a tablespoon at a time with vinegar. Because um, people can be super tasters for vinegar. So just be careful. Okay, update. We are just about... We are almost finished. I added a little bit more another tablespoon of vinegar and as you can see the curds are quite nice and, fir and firm um, the rest of the milk has curdled it's semi-transparent and you can see that it's starting to form something other than milk <laughs> um, this will be 
need a couple more minutes and then we're just going to put it in a colander and get all the way off. And this is a very, very, very simple recipe that people have been using for hundreds of years, <laughs> if not thousands. It's also important for the snow on the driveway. We've got to get it all the way off. All the way off. <laughs> and that is my husband making a dad joke of dad jokes. the colander it. Now be careful not to hurt yourself. Some people say to use cheesecloth for this step. I did it once and it made a gigantic mess. And I like to use the whey after I'm done. getting it off the cheese because it makes a delicious snack. <laughs> so, you just drain it, let all of the way off of the off of the uh, off the cheese and then just put it in a container and you can just put it in the fridge. Easy, easy. Want to get a close up of this? Nice, stretchy, delicious, delicious cheese. Okay. As usual, if you want to like and subscribe and share and comment, we would really greatly appreciate your uh, your input. Have a good day.